Hello and welcome to another session of the Mastermind Book Club. In this session, we are summarizing a very short book, The Law of Mind, Mastering Thought as the Ultimate Power to Transcend Attraction. This is by Sue Maxim and it's a compilation. Our first mastermind to give his summary is Reggie Hilliard. Hello, everyone. I'm going to touch on some points about the law of mind, some of the things that could be advantageous or good for you to actually be able to take in. So thoughts influence your mind, and you can use those thoughts to change your life, right? Or you can actually change your life by changing your thoughts or transform your life by transforming your thoughts. Thoughts uh, help help you to in that way because they essentially co help you know to be a co-creator in this universe and, 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 and be able to influence everything around you. So you can shape your reality by what thoughts you actually apply, what thoughts you actually put into effect, right? And so those thoughts, beliefs, and attitudes are what affect your outcome. Essentially, what happens here is your um, this this mind, this law, this mind that we're referring to, it serves as the bridge between the physical world and the unseen. So you have the ability through this mind to be able to create exactly what it is that you want to have in your life. And so what is inside and in that mind that we talk about that internal landscape you can through that internal landscape and internal landscape help alter what you see around you in all aspects all all aspects there are additional things you can do which comes through visualization and affirmations keeping a certain mindset in terms of like you know how you think at a higher optimal level being very prosperous in your thoughts being very abundant in the way you think and thinking about all the possibilities essentially reframing your beliefs such that your beliefs are ones that are enlightening, that are empowering, that encourage you, help to shape the world around you in a way that's very, very, very much positive. So these are some of the ways in which you can influence your life, essentially through act activating and accessing your mind and using your mind as a, as a vehicle, as a tool to which you can create the reality that you want to see. Thank you, Reggie. Very important information that Reggie just went over. Very important. Uh, Charles Comer, our next mastermind. Batter up. Hello, everyone. The law of attraction comes out of the law of the mind. You have a hundred and you have 170 billion cells that make up our center of control, which is our brain. And I've often said on this panel or on this call is that you are the sum total of the decisions and thoughts that you have made. Where you are right now in life is because of your mental capacity to think and use your thought pro properly. Out of, your th out of your thoughts gives you the ideas. And as Reggie was talking about, you are able to apply the actions, which creates your reality. Now, no other animal on the planet but man. I know we have the evolution theory. But no other human, no other, no no one other than a human being on the planet can communicate to the depths that we communicate, that can create the things that we could create. Think about all the cities, the transportation, the trains, the buses, the planes. No other creature can change their environment the way we can change our environment. Like right now, I'm sitting in one place. But earlier, I was somewhere else. And if I so choose, when I get off this call, I could be somewhere else. No other species on the planet has that kind of ability. Also, no other creature can claim relationship with its creator except humans. And that within itself is an interesting part of our, our internal thought process. We are greater than what we appear to be. Thank you. All right, Charles Comer. We are greater than we what we appear to be. These are the two or three things that I learned from the law of the mind. Number one, we all have ups and downs. But when we have those downs, what is the first thing that comes to mind? Why does this happen to me or why does this always happen to me instead of asking a more empowering question to the mind 
what can I learn from this? Right? That's one. Two, affirmations. Affirmations are so powerful that people have been known within two or three days to accomplish their goals. But the reality is most goals will take longer than two or three days. But there are a lot of circumstances with that within two or three days, some people have adversely accomplished really negative goals. Why is that so? Because they put their heart, their mind into the focus of a negative intention and you get a negative result. So guess what? If you put all that heart and mind into a positive intention, you will get a positive result, just as this book mentions. Now, what is one of those negative? Well, a lot of people commit suicide. How do they do it? I mean, sad to say, they're putting a lot of negative energy into thinking of that thought. Well, put in, if you do the opposite and you put it into positive thoughts, anything is possible. Anything is possible. The law of the mind. It's very powerful. There are 12 different specific instances that are mentioned in this book, but I just want to cover affirmations. Make sure that you are repeating them because if you are, then you're going to accomplish whatever it is that you want. I need to work on mine daily. So I highly, we highly recommend this book and I suggest, just like I'm certain Reggie and Charles do, this book is short and powerful and it's good to go over until you accomplish your goals. Take care as the Mastermind Book Club signing off. Until next time.